All right, what is going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to be showing you in 2024, how you are actually able to grow, manage, and optimize your Google business profile to get more leads for your local service business. Let's get started. So guys, before I actually go into all the strategies and tactics, I actually just wanna show you and uh, create a definition for a Google business profile because some people might not know what I'm talking about. So a Google business profile, think of it as Google's social media where you're able to post, you're able to get reviews, you're able to have websites, you're able to post certain things, you're able to just completely brand yourself and show Google and show customers what exactly it is you do. So I will use in my case, we are from Momentum 360, a photography company. We're based in Philadelphia, but we service pretty much the entire world at this point. So this is our headquarters profile. What I'm gonna do is really just show you what I'm doing every single day, every single week, every single month to get more business, to maintain the profile and to grow it. So we're able to get almost a thousand customer interactions every single month. So as you can see here, I'm actually under our Momentum 360 profile, which allows me to have a slew of pretty much all of our management features. So as you can see here, I'm able to edit the profile, read reviews, et cetera. And then you have a drop down here where you can update and uh, ask for reviews accordingly. So let me actually go into what this looks like. And then we'll talk about what you need to do to actually get more leads this year for your Google business profile. What you can do is you can actually edit the profile here. You want to make sure that you have very, very clear categories for what your business does. Because for instance, let's just say I was a food photographer. And as you can see here, it doesn't show food photography. So you need to make sure that you are putting very, very, very clear definitions and categories of what it is you do. You can't go too broad because you're not going to get any leads because people are going to be like, oh, well, they're a photographer, but do they specialize in this, which is exactly what we need, right? So for us, we're doing aerial photography, video editing, uh, we're a marketing agency, we're, you know, a photography service, etc. So this is pretty much all of the categories my business can have. On top of that, you want to make sure that you have a clear and accurate description, what you do, where you do it, and who you serve. Okay. So once you have those three things in here, as you can see, it's just going to be a better thing for Google because Google is then going to take that and say, okay, well, they're a photographer in Philadelphia and they service real estate agents and commercial businesses, right? That's pretty much what Google wants to see in this description. Okay. From here, you can add a call number, whether it's a cell phone or a landline number to a business. This actually is a call rail number. So whenever someone calls it, it gets automatically directed to call rail, which then calls my phone and then I can answer it, which is really nice. Website. So you can add your website here or any landing page for that matter. So if you don't necessarily have a website, you just have a landing page or social media, I highly recommend to get a website if you don't have one yet. But in the case that you don't, you can add in whatever link you have, but really you should have a website posted here. It's 2024. On top of that, what's really, really nice is you're actually able to add all the social media profiles that a business has. So as you can see here, we have the YouTube channel, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, etc. Right. And then on top of that, you can also see that we're putting in a address as well, which is really cool. So we can add the correct suite number, et cetera, service area, hours of business. You want to make sure that all these things are very accurate because this is what's going to be displayed on Google. And if for whatever reason, they're not concrete and they're not accurate, one, you're not going to get as many leads as you can. And two, Google is actually going to penalize you because if you're creating all these different uh, citations and profiles, and it doesn't add up to your Google profile, which is the most important one, then Google's gonna say, oh, there's a discrepancy. It's not matching the same hours of operation in this case. That's on the Google business profile here. What's on super pages or Yelp or other you know, third-party citations. Um, so you wanna make sure that if you have any special hours, you can do that. Uh, you wanna make sure if you have different service options, crowds, et cetera, you can do that. Um, really, really, really cool stuff, right? Accessibility, all these things. And some of these might not apply necessarily to your business, but if they do, make sure that you check them. It's very, very important, all right? So that's for the editing the profile. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is reading reviews. So Momentum, we almost have 240, 250 reviews just to our Philadelphia profile alone. Total, we have close to about 1,000 reviews across the entire United States, which is really cool. What I would recommend doing is you can actually reply to all these reviews and you want to reply to a review 
in the um, manner that I'm, I'm going to show you. So if I'm going to reply to a review, I would say normally I would have my customer leave me a sentence about the service that they had. So I would say thank you so much for trusting us as the best photography service in Philadelphia. And what's happening is best photography service in Philadelphia and photography service in Philadelphia, we are gonna increase our rankings with this key phrase because we're actually putting it in the review, which is really nice, right? You can do this guys for all of these reviews that you can see here, really, really, really awesome stuff. All right, so those are the reviews messages let's move on so what you can do is you can actually have people reach out to you via uh, google messenger so you can actually have people message the profile directly as you can see here we really haven't had that many people actually hit us up a lot of the people just call us which is so much easier but hey if you're a restaurant um, or you're a you know another business in the area that uh, you get a lot of phone calls you want to make you know kind of uh, pre-made appointments like if you're a dentist, if you're in maybe an auto body shop, a restaurant, that would make more sense than to, um, than I would say a photography service. But at the end of the day, it's just sheer of these, um, it's preference. I like to just take calls, but some people might like to do messages and kind of weed out leads before they talk on the phone. That's totally fine too. It's however you want to run your business, right? Add photos. So you can add photos to whether it's your logo, cover photo, photo of inside your business. What I would recommend doing is getting high res images of your logo, cover photo, making it very unique because at the end of the day, it's your brand, it's your business. You want to make sure that it's a good representation of what you actually do. So I would add as many custom photos as you possibly can to make sure that you are, you know, just having a good solid brand at the end of the day that people can know, like, and trust, right? Let's move on. Performance. So as you can see here, you can see all of the interactions from pretty much the past year and then some, which is really cool. You can see the calls, messages, bookings, directions, website clicks, and you can toggle it really however you want. It's a really, really cool thing. So you can see the performance here, um, very clear of how you're doing. So that's really cool. Advertising. So you actually have the ability to advertise on the Google business profile as well. I'm not necessarily going to go into that now, but you can check out if you want to advertise how you're actually able to go create Google ads, local service ads. Let's just say maybe you're a technician or you're a real estate agent or you're I don't know, maybe a cleaning service, you have the ability to be local, uh, locally certified in your uh, niche, in your service, in your industry, uh, and where you are. So you're actually able to get more customers and provide better value and just get more leads, right? So that's advertise, edit products. So you can actually edit products here. As you can see, we have a lot of different packages. Again, if you're a auto body shop, restaurant, retail space, whatever the case is, you can put all this stuff here. And we could also do, is add certain products and add a website along with this as well. So I'm not gonna do it for the sake of this video, but if I was to click on all of these, these would go to the respective pages for their service. So it would this would go to the gold package, this would go to the bronze, this would go to the silver, this would go to the Matterport camera, photography, you get it, right? It's pretty straightforward stuff. Let's move on. Edit services. So as you can see, we have all of these services here, which we actually do. So like I said, we do a lot of services, but you want to make sure that um, you're doing the right services, because if you don't service all these services, then it's kind of idiotic to put all of them, right? So you want to make sure that all these services are how they should be. Bookings. So you can actually have this be a feature where you can add an appointment link, which is what we have here. So people can actually schedule a demo. Boom, we can go and talk whatever the case is, really, really cool stuff. If you're a restaurant, if you're trying to take appointments, if you're a doctor's office, whatever the case is, and you need to take appointments, you could do that here. Again, very, very creative tool. Calls. So the next thing I'll talk about is going into the uh, call system so you can see who called you. Um, what's really nice is we don't really have any missed calls, which is nice. I, I answer every single one. So that's pretty cool. Um, questions and answers. So this is really, really important. So you want to make sure guys at the end of the day that people are actually uh, creating questions for your business with the key phrase in which you're trying to rank for. And then you can answer with that certain key phrase, which is really cool, right? So if someone's asking how much the virtual tours cost, I would then say our virtual tour pricing starts at blah, blah, blah. And all we're trying to do is rank for virtual tour cost, virtual tour pricing. 
And the same thing here where it's virtual tour pricing, pretty much the same thing that I mentioned last year, right? But this is really important because the more questions and answers you guys have, the better you're going to rank online locally for these key phrases, all right? Um, so what's really cool is you can actually post all these updates that you see right here. As you can see, we're pretty much posting daily, which is what you should be doing at least three to five times every single week, right? And as you guys can see, we're averaging about the first position, getting a lot of impressions, a lot of clicks, and this is just in one week. So think about it you know, in terms of months and years. Think of how much business you're actually getting from having a Google business profile. So you can see the profiles here. You can see the full description that we talked about. You can see the reviews. You can see the reviews from other third parties. You can see the questions and answers. You can see the categories. You can see the products, the areas served, appointments, and the address and uh, phone number, as well as if you want to call us, get directions to the company, um, leave reviews, or just go to our website. And then last but not least, this is probably one of the most important things. If you take anything away from this video, this is what you need to do to grow your profile is getting more reviews and more five-star reviews, the better. Someone who has been around the, you know, around the block a long time, if they're posting, if they're doing all the right things on Google, but they're not getting reviews, they're going to get passed up by somebody who hasn't been in business that long, who isn't necessarily posting or doing all these optimization things, right? But they are getting more reviews on average, they are going to rank higher. That's just how it is. Google prioritizes the reviews. It is such a powerful tool. So if you're not getting reviews or at least not collecting reviews every single job that you service, I hate to break it to you, but you're missing out. So guys, with that being said, this is how you are actually able to grow your business by completely managing and going through this very, very thoroughly in 2024 for your local service business. We obviously help this and do this as a service for Momentum uh, whether you need social media management or Google business management here, we're here to help. We're here to help grow your business. So thank you guys so much. Smash that like button, comment below, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.